Hello, good day everyone, and uh, welcome back to my blog, the Marquina Conservatory, or basically, to be specific, the uh, uh, memoirs of the uh, Filipino seafarer, or seaman. So right now, I am back again to my usual uh, blogging thing. So uh, just, you know, to feature, uh, you know, another day on my uh, life as a uh, seafarer. So, uh, at the moment, I am testing now my attachment, as you can see. The attachment that I've made on my helmet and see if it's uh, effective. So, right now, I'm trying to uh, avoid any cameras because the problem with this one is that it's too bulky. And uh, bulkiness isn't something that I'm uh, happy to, uh, you know, happy to... Uh, uh, discuss with. So uh, I'm just not gonna avoid any security camera so I'm just going through the trunk deck right now. So so far so good. Uh, things are doing fine here. So the only thing I have to I guess uh, uh, work... Oh, sorry I got uh, distracted on that light because uh, <laughs> I thought someone was watching me. So anyway um, yeah I uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I should be going now to uh, work. So, uh, yeah, it did really scare me a bit because I thought someone was, uh, you know, watching me on that part. But in any case, I'll uh, try to make a little bit of adjustment. Okay, that should do. Uh, so it's a bit bulky and I might get spotted uh, from the looks of it. So I'll uh, rather not, uh, you know, expose myself. So right now I'm pretty much safe doing this around because no one is uh, working right now on the deck. It's at least uh, 8 o'clock right now in the evening. So uh, anyway, the first uh, task that I'll be doing right now is uh, basically just paint the... Uh, uh, some uh, manholes here. Okay. Okay, so I guess right now this area is pretty safe. Uh, there's not much uh, surveillance going on. So, uh, you know, uh, I can continue my work. Just keep in mind that I should, uh, you know, focus my, uh, or point my camera. Or uh, the, the trick here is don't look at the camera because they're kind of like, uh, you know, they might monitor me. For now, I could say there's no, uh, high cameras right now here in my area so uh so i guess i'll be uh doing what i'm supposed to be doing right now without any uh impunity so uh right now i am just going to uh paint this one with the second coat uh the first coat right now is the red primer so uh the the task shouldn't be that hard Okay, so anyway, I needed a demo anyway on how to, uh, you know, uh, use the uh, action camera. So hopefully, uh, no one's looking around at me with the security cameras, and no one's around on deck. So if you notice, it's still daylight, but uh, in reality, uh, it's still day. I mean, if you notice, it's still daylight, but, uh, well, if you take a look on my watch... It's already uh, at least night time, so uh, it only concludes, includes that, uh, or it only means that it is summertime in Europe. Anyway, as long as no one's around on deck, I'm sure I'm pretty safe uh, demonstrating here on the action camera. So, but of course, I'll take the maximum precautions available, uh, just not to be noticed that I have an action camera. Uh, on board the deck. Apparently, uh, there's a regulation here on board the ship that prohibits any uh, person from carrying instrictly unsafe 
equipment. It's uh, more like a regulation. So uh, anybody got caught with it, well, definitely they could get fired. So uh, for my case, um, I think it's a, uh, well, it's a case-to-case -case basis. Yes, I know I'm risking myself to get fired because I'm currently demonstrating, uh, you know, uh, okay. So just keep in mind that I'm not facing the bridge. I'm just, uh, what do you call this? Uh, you know, always don't look at the bridge because uh, there might be the officer in the watch when he's looking at me. So we can't rule the, that possibility. And also, I have to, uh, you know, I, I think uh, having a lens is okay anyway. I was thinking that I should cover the lens of this, uh, the LCD, the back LCD of this uh, action camera because it might uh, distract or hurt my eyes. But I think it actually helps in actual, in pointing out on which uh, direction I'm currently looking at. So, uh, there we go. I just have to paint this. Anyway, it really helps, uh, you know, if uh, there's nobody around them or they might, uh, you know, if I'm just alone here, people might think I'm talking to myself. But in reality, I'm just talking to an action camera. Yeah, I probably have to adjust a little bit more on the angle of the action camera here. Just to show, uh, but if I adjust it too high, uh, you know, I might be afraid somebody might uh, notice the, or it might get caught attention, and uh, getting attention is uh, the last thing I wanted to do. So uh, anyway, that's uh, the thing right now. Okay, so far, well, uh, I don't think I'll get detected because, uh, you know, as long as I'm not, uh, you know, looking at uh, looking at the bridge or looking at the uh, camera, I think I should be fine. Okay. Whew. Well, it's kind of really nervous and exciting at the same time that I'm testing a very dangerous equipment, at least for the, uh, you know, on the tanker ship. Well, I mean, if somebody gets caught me, I'm definitely going to be the last. Uh, I'm definitely get uh, more than chewed out for this one. But I think more of the educational value and wisdom rather than such uh, taboos of that kind of thing. Well, it's pretty much uh, the maritime culture here is still uh, a little bit regressed and backwards. It's like you're living in the 1980s, so people here have a kind of like an 80s mentality. But that's okay with me. Um, I'm, I'm not really that, uh, I don't really expect that much from the maritime industry compared to other land-based jobs. I mean, at least on the work culture. So as much as we want to think that uh, seafarers are noble people, no, noble, generous, and understanding people, in reality, seafarers are uh, far from that. They're not exactly the forgiving type, but, uh, just to add as well. So, uh, there we go. That should finish our, uh, uh, okay, so I just have some little spots here that I, uh, kind of forgot. So, uh, okay, so that should be fine. Right. Oh. Okay, uh, well, I don't have to worry about publishing this because it will take at least three years before uh, it gets published publicly. So uh, by the time uh, it gets published or people are seeing this in public, I'm already gone and far from this area. I mean, that's kind of like my uh, written rule in making a, uh, and starting out a blog. No videos will get published until later three years after it's a recorded date. So I just make it a golden rule. And also, uh, one of the golden rules that I set up before I, before I uh, start blogging is that uh, 
Oh, okay. Uh, before uh, one of the golden rules that I uh, said before I uh, started out blogging is that my face should not be revealed, or even my voice. So, uh, just uh, you know, I have to do all the necessary precautions in regards to that. Okay. So I guess the. Uh, okay. So I just uh, better hide from that. Okay, good. I think hiding from that uh, the crane here would be nice. So I know I don't have to worry about this because the security camera right here isn't exactly pointing at me. So that's good. Besides, if it is, there's an escape side. Uh, there's, there's an escape hatch here so I could escape. In case of any trouble, of course. So, okay. There we go. And, uh... I'm probably going to uh, paint, start painting now this last part. Whew. Okay. So I just have to concentrate on my work. And I'm pretty much confident right now that no one is going outside on the deck to, uh, you know, do some rounds anyway. So I'm pretty safe, I guess, at least on my, uh, on my uh, video. So I can take uh, videos here on the long format. You know, uh, one thing that I should mention as well um, is that uh, the problem with the working uh, environment here on this ship, particularly just only on this ship, is that people here have, uh, they don't kind of respect the work rest hours day, or they kind of, you know, want people to work as, as a slave. Uh, I mean, just of course, this is just only my personal opinion. I mean, I mean, take a look at it. We just uh, unbirthed or unmoored a couple of hours ago. Normally, if you're in a VLCC and an oil tanker, people should be resting. But uh, apparently, here on this ship, uh, rest is something that uh, you know you get only to rest on uh, only two uh, two conditions. One, it's either that you're heavily injured that you're not uh, able to continue work or rest in the sense that uh, your contract is already finished. I don't know, uh, I'm just not quite, uh, I just find it hard to accept until now the, uh, that kind of situation that I'm working uh, Sundays to Saturdays. So, uh, I don't know, I'm, um, I've been working on the uh, tanker and VLCC crude oil ships for almost a decade now, and uh, the management or working management there always gives people a rest day, specifically Sundays and Saturdays. But here on this ship, on this shuttle tanker, Sundays and Saturdays rest day is uh, apparently just an illusion. And uh, I don't know, I just find it not exactly uh, up to my taste. I mean, MLC regulations or IMO regulations states that at least a seafarer should have one day of rest per week. But uh, apparently on this ship, uh, it's not exactly, uh, that regulation isn't exactly uh, being followed or even uh, addressed at all. But anyway, I'm okay with that as long as my contract here is just only six months. And, uh, and I'm already on my fourth month, so I just have to... You know, uh, probably just uh, stay on my toes for the next two months, and uh, I'm sure I'll be, uh, you know, getting home, and I uh, won't sign up any contracts here on this uh, on this principle uh, anymore, just to be safe. I'll uh, probably be better off on the back in the tank or the LCC types of environment rather than the shuttle tanker. I don't know. I'm, it's just a uh, it's just a matter of preference, I guess, or, I don't know, my interpretation. I just don't find it agreeable that uh, seafarers should be uh, working Sundays to Saturdays with no rest days. I, I still prefer that the seafarers have at least a rest day, uh, a day or two. Uh, there's, uh, like I quote on the film, uh, workers who have uh, little rest have work few. And workers who are almost dead from work produce none. In other words, productivity isn't uh, that good if you're working, if the working hours of the seafarer are increased. 
or in some cases uh, they don't have a rest day. Now there's an old saying in Tagalog, which I will say it, because I should be saying this in English, and I'm, uh, you know, I should be uh, narrating this in English. There's an old Tagalog saying that uh, nandito tayo para magtrabaho. Pero ang interpretasyon ko naman doon is nandito tayo para magtrabaho bilang manggagawa, hindi bilang alipin. So you get that kind of, uh, you know, saying in an old Tagalog. I mean, in English, uh, what I meant to say was that we're here to work as workers, not work as slaves. And I think uh, working from Sundays to Saturdays without any rest days is kind of, well, kind of disagreeable for my taste. And honestly, I kind of think that's uh, more like a slave work. But anyway, who am I to question? I'm not going to question that any further because it might get me into more trouble. So as far as I'm concerned, I better stay out of that. So, okay, I'm almost done with this uh, thing, so uh, the next thing I'll do is probably I'll have to, uh, you know, secure all the doors um, that uh, our bosun painted earlier a few hours ago during, uh, you know, during loading operations. So I'm really lucky that I'm working at this hour of the day because uh, there's no one, there's a few people, in fact there's no per person at all on the deck, only me, so I could, uh, you know, do this uh, vlog. But of course, even though uh, I'm the only one at the deck, that doesn't necessarily mean that I am safe on vlogging because there's our security cameras roaming around here, or there are security cameras placed all over the ship. In other words, I might get caught because somebody might, uh, you know, if uh, if I'm on a bad luck, I might get caught because uh, somebody was looking on the security camera. So I guess I'm already finished with this one, so I'll be back. I'll go, ba I'll go back with this one uh, in a few moments, so uh, I'll just go, uh, you know, uh, I'll just go check on those, those watertight doors. Okay. Well, uh, I guess this is quite a very long vlog right now that I'm doing. So I'll be starting off on the forward uh, watertight doors. Because that is, I think, the, uh, you know, I'll be starting on the forward and then go back uh, all the way down. Okay, so yeah, that's the perks of working on, on the shifting. Oh, I didn't know that the mass riser here is still working or still switched on. Um, a few hours ago, I just blogged that thing on how to switch it on, and now, uh, well, it's still, uh, you know, running. Okay, so I guess there's no one here, so I'll just, uh, okay, well, as long as they're not, of course, the lesson here is try not to look on the bridge, try to look, uh, away from it, okay, so we're good with that. So this one's uh, closed. So uh, okay, so I'm now moving on to the next one. I'm not sure if they left the mass riser motor opening, so it's still currently pumping in. Anyway, they'll uh, contact me by radio in case that I forgot that or they wanted to, you know, shut it off. Okay, same old drill, try not to look uh, on the back, because, uh, you know, they might be, uh, uh, they might notice me, I'm wearing uh, an action camera on my helmet, right up there. 
Okay, door number two closed. So things are doing good. Okay, so we got a uh, have a very noisy here. Okay, same old thing, try not to look at the door. Okay, we're done. Finished with that. Okay, so I'm just gonna check a few more doors here and see just to uh, uh, just to make sure that everything's closed anyway. Uh, this one's secured, so we're okay with that. And uh, this one is secured as well, so we're good with that. So I guess everything is uh, secured. So we're good. Okay, even the door's there, I guess. Okay, right. So we're good with that. Oh yeah, one more thing that I haven't uh, uh, checked in with the blog here is how to use the UTI. I forgot to, uh, you know, demonstrate it. So here's the thing. So I'll be uh, switching off my camera here just to uh, more like a uh, uh, market that uh, I'm using a demonstration of my uh, uh, UTI here. Okay, so here we go. We're now uh, going to test the UTI. Now, for everybody's information, UTI is LH Transfer Interface. So I'm just going to demonstrate it on how we operate this baby. Or this, uh, uh, you know, uh, this uh, equipment. So first off, we're just going to switch it back on. So take note that I'm just doing this for pra practice and educational purposes. So you put it on the sounding pipe. And we put it here. So at the moment, our uh, UTI here is currently switched on. So you can see that. There's also an indicator here. So, uh, of course, this is, I'm just going to do this for educational reasons. Okay, so, uh, so we should open this one, the sounding pipe. And then um, we lower our UTI here. Okay, you're hearing this sound, right? So that means that it's already touched the cargo. So we're gonna go on the sound here. If you're hearing that kind of sound, it means that uh, it's already the sensors here have already touched the cargo. Now to read the UTI, you should be reading it here. There's a specific, uh, you know, meter there. So there we go. It says here. Based on the readings, it's about 3 meters and 14 centimeters. So you just radioed it back then that uh, the, the UTI is reading 0314. Okay, so uh, there we go. We put it back in. Okay, you have to, you know, hear that kind of knock. Just to ensure that the, uh, the UTI sensor is fully retracted, just to avoid uh, the sensor being cut off. And then we switch off, or we lock, or secure the sounding pipe. And uh, there we go, and switch it back off. So there we go, that's how we use the uh, UTI. Very simple, and, uh, ah, oh great. So I just demonstrated it on the camera. 
so that should provide uh, enough uh, educational purposes okay so uh, I should be returning this one and switching back on now to my regular recorded schedule okay there we go we just finished uh, recording that so I should be now uh, going back and uh, you know uh, recovering my uh, paint here Ooh. Okay, so just to uh, uh, take a quick uh, look here, I've already painted all of the uh, areas here. So I'll just probably have to clean this and secure this uh, uh, this uh, deck store here. By the way, if you're wondering what deck store this is, this is Pumpy's deck store. So Pumpman has all the equipment here. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just put it here, I guess. So he got all sorts of tools here, all sorts of wrenches of different sizes. So, okay. Right, so, uh, okay. Well, if you're noticing, I'm always not facing the bridge because uh, they might be uh, looking at me. So it's best we keep it. Uh, that I'm, dete uh, I'm detected here. Okay, so I guess that's uh, all for now. In regards to my work here, I should be returning back and cleaning my paint. Okay, so I'll uh, probably try to enter the uh, deck trunk here just to be safe from all those uh, security cameras. There we go. So I should be safe here because there's no security cameras inside the trunk deck. So right now I'm just going to uh, return this and clean up my paint and uh, we're finished on the job. And I guess that will conclude my successful test of my uh, my uh, action camera touch attachment it's a bit cumbersome and uh and uh you know easily get spotted so uh, if i'm ever going to use this attachment again to record my work on deck i should be uh i should make sure that no one is uh on board or i mean no one is around <sighs> okay Well, lucky for me, there's uh, the CCTV view here isn't exactly that, uh, you know, aimed or pointed at in this direction, so I could work without any problems. At least on this side. So, uh, yeah, there we go.
Okay, so right now, we're just going to clean this uh, bucket of paint that I have onto the paint room. And uh, we're finished for the day. Whew. Well, I didn't know that uh, summertime in Europe could be uh, quite hot. Oh, by the way, this is where we wash and clean our... Uh, you know, our brushes and our paint brushes and our rollers. So we use Timner number 17. We use the, uh, our uh, brand for our uh, thinner that we use here on board the ship for everybody's information is Jotun. So you can see here it's Jotun. And specifically, if we're cleaning our primer paints, we use the Jotun thinner number 17. So uh, the liquid here is basically Jotun number 17. And it's really effective in cleaning all those, uh, uh, you know, uh, cleaning those uh, paint uh, primer. So anyway, I have to uh, be careful in cleaning this one because, uh, you know, it might damage the lens. It so happens that I am equipped with an action camera right now. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, we don't want to damage an equipment here that costs around 12,000 pesos or 15,000. This may be the cheapest action camera, but it's not exactly cheap if you don't actually buy it. So there. You just have to clean it. I have to clean it thoroughly. Uh, I don't know if they have changed it already. Uh, they're uh, thinner here. So uh, just keep in mind that to clean this paint thoroughly. So, uh... Yeah, yeah, you know, we could, uh, re so that uh, this paint rollers and paint brushes could be reused later on. Okay, we're good with this. So we just have to be uh, cleaning this one a little bit more. Oh yeah, one more thing that I would like to note, that after you clean your rollers and paint brushes, you should close this one because uh, so happens thinner easily evaporates the thinner liquid or thinner chemical whatever you might put it so in order to prevent its uh, rapid uh, evaporation you have to close this ha uh, this uh, metal box trunk and at the same time uh, it reduces less hazard because apparently the uh, vapors given off by uh, evaporated uh, thinner is highly flammable so we don't want to send any sparks or fires Okay, I should do the trick. Okay, there we go. We're okay, so uh, this is thinner number 17. We just wrote it off on our bottle. So uh, I'm just gonna put it here. Make sure everything is secured. And uh, yeah, and call it a day, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so, there we go. The work just really took at least an hour. Really not that uh, hard. So I'll be probably going on deck for at least, uh, I think, 10 uh, p.m. Or maybe 10.30, 11, I don't know. Just making sure just that I'll report back to the uh, bridge because uh, my uh, officer and watch didn't like it when I, re when I didn't report it to the bridge yesterday. So we don't want to spark any controversies or anything. Oh, by the way, this is our um, uh, deck store here. Well, uh, actually, this is our workshop, deck workshop. So, uh, I think I've already uh, saw this on the blog, uh, featured it a while ago. I mean, several blog uh, recordings like earlier. So, we have all our stuff that we use on deck here. Uh, it's stored here. So, uh, in case we needed something for work, we just uh, drop by here and get it. So anyway, we'll just leave this one open. Uh, I'll probably leave it this one closed, I guess. Just to be sure. Uh huh. Okay. There we go. That should be good. So I'll just have to roam around a little bit just to ensure that everything is closed. So fortunately, uh, everything here is uh, really close, or closed up. 
I just have to make a little bit more of adjustment on my, uh, oh damn it. Okay, there we go. That should be at least, uh, okay, so, uh, right, I've just only adjusted my head count mounted camera here. So anyway, I'll uh, have to, uh, you know, readjust my footage here because it's kind of like uh, being filmed upside down. So I'll just have to, uh, it's a good thing I have an edit video editing software to readjust it. Okay, so uh, I'm just checking out if I did forgot something here. Well, I guess none. So, uh, oh, yesterday I was working with the... Uh, trash, uh, you know, uh, trash. I even recorded it on my blog. And, uh, well, it's still uh, the same here. Uh, they haven't done much on that work anyway. So, but that's okay. That's not going to be my issue. So, uh, okay. Oh, oh. sorry, I, uh, that's kind of cumbersome anyway. I kind of hit my action camera. Right. Uh, I guess I have to close down the uh, paint room. And, uh, oh yeah, uh, when you're closing the paint room, make sure that the, uh, that the fan here is switched off. So, uh, on my case here, we just press this one and then yank it out. There. The fans and the ventilation for the paint room is already switched off. So uh, the only thing we have to do right now is close this one. So, okay. Uh, right, so I guess that concludes my uh, night work for now. The rest of my days, well, I will be just be on standby and uh, probably late on my watch I'll be entering the uh, bridge. On that part I'm not going to record that because, uh, well, uh, we don't want any uh, controversies anyway. Or we don't want any, anyone noticing that I'm taking vlog videos. So uh, there we go. <sighs> So, uh, before I end my blog entry right now, so if you like my video, just kind of like uh, click on the like and subscribe button and hit that button. It will really help me a lot on, the, you know, uh, my video and YouTube algorithm. And uh, there. So, again, this is the operator. This is Operator 6.0 concluding my uh, blog journal for this day. Have a great day, everyone, and see you on my next blog journal session.